Welcome to the final matchup in the Best of Paul Dolette series. Today's matchup features 1994 versus 1996. Two very good versions, I must say. Premium. These are the two best, more than likely. The upper body seems to be a little bit tighter, a little bit more conditioned in, 90, in 94. Of course, in 96... He seems to be more vascular, so it, it, it's, it's a hard decision to make. Stomach seems to be a little bit tighter in 94 as well. Lags are massive there in 94, but a little bit more conditioned in 96, therefore leaning just a smidge towards that 96 version. As promised, I'm going to throw this 1993 version in the mix here. And I must say, those lags are very slender and the upper body, very wide, I must say. And this is the reasoning why I didn't advance that version. His proportions are way down. His upper body, a little bit too big for those slender legs. Looks like he's going to topple over. I must say, though, those set of pecs, less conditioned, less striated, but those set of pecs are massive big balloons. Second only, only to uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, perhaps. So, my opinion here, 1996 prevails the front relaxed position. 94 looks massive. What can I say? Just unbelievable size. Look at the arms and the legs. Maybe a little bit less conditioned in the legs. I must be uh, nitpicky once again about that fact, but the proportions are just unreal here. That waistline a little bit more cinched in, I must say. More vascular once again in 96. What's that all about? Anyway, 94 gets the Duke here, and in the front double bicep comparison with 93, it is a blowout. 1994, the king of these three as far as this front double bicep goes. Uh, aside from an equally striated and massive set of quads there, 1996 is taking a pounding. 94, look at the size and separation of those delts and the arm difference, the pecs as well. Abs look more straighted, too. You know, here in the battle against 93, it's a blowout. Although I will say, 1993, the upper body is too big. But even the delts do not compare against those delts in 94. What a version. Unfortunately, this is the only back comparison, a rear double by. In which case, 1994 does look a little bit better, I must say. Looks like the glutes are a whole lot bigger, too. Let's have a little bit better look at those glutes. It is definitely a... Bay donk. The donk and donk. Yes, a bay donk. Bay donk, bay donk. It's a great big bum. Use your finger and a thumb. And here, 1994 versus 93. It is not even a comparison. He lacks the bay donk, oh donk, the badonk a donk, the big bum in 93 for sure. And I'm not even going to... I'm not even going to respond on that little sequence that I just did earlier. And don't even, don't even mention it. Just forget about it. Forget they even heard it. All right. The ab and thigh. Very difficult to tell from that very blurry picture of 96. Does those quads no justice? He more than likely has more feathered, more striated quads. But they are half the size. I am here to tell you, look at the size of those legs in the 94 or on, on the 94 Paul Dillette. And that ab set up just amazing when you consider the small waist plus the striated obliques i don't know though it's very hard to say like i said those quads could be so strided in 96 that it would get a victory but hard to say really here in the most muscular and this 1994 version this rendition of paul Dillette, reminds me of the 97 version Remember how much more striated he was in the abs and the slender waistline, except in 94 here, he has bigger delts than 96. The 97 delts were tiny, or even smaller than 96, which is big. Those are a big set of delts, but 94, I believe that advantage may earn him a victory in this most muscular, but there is this one here, and this one really knocks it out of the park. For the 1994 Paul Dillette. He looks like a beast on steroids and on growth hormones and amphetamines and moose urine and 
Red Bull. I've done all that stuff. Red Bull. Anyway, I say 94 is the best version, bar none, out of any of these Paul Delettes. Even stack up 93 here. Slender legs. Good upper body. Not even as good as 94. And the legs, much more massive. So, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. You be the judge of it. But in my opinion, here is your winner. The 1994 Paul Delette. And deservedly so. As always, I would like to thank the bodybuilder in question. And thank you... From the bottom of my heart, Paul Delette, each and every pound and ounce of meat and iron that you pumped and meat that you ate and just dieting that you did was all worthwhile. You were created one of the greatest bodies, physiques of all time. And this 1994 version, this version here, this version is ripped, big, striated, and just unbelievably proportioned. Not a lot of them big guys can say that. Look at that tiny waist and massive legs, arms, back, thick chest. Wow. And don't forget the calves. This man had that as well. Ladies and gentlemen, go ahead and tap that subscribe button if you have not already. And if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up as well. That helps me uh, get these videos out there into YouTube land. Have a great day.